hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys if you are facing this issue automatic repair your PC did not start correctly or startup repair couldn't repair your PC so whatever kind of error blue screen of death error you are facing this video is for you I will show you how to easily fix this issue so there could be four to five cause of this issue the first one is sudden hardware changes if you have upgraded or changed your RAM or hard drive or graphic card so you might get this issue as well if your window is corrupted and its registry is also got corrupted so you can get this issue as well and next is if you have recently installed an update and also the software on your windows and the, those are not compatible for your windows so you can also face this issue as well so these kind of errors you can face on your windows but I will show you how to step by step how to fix this issue so first of all if you are not getting this option and your computer is looping on the automatic repair options just forcefully shut down your laptop two to three times as soon as the window loads and thereafter you should able to get this advanced recovery option then you need to click on advanced options and you need to cl click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options again and now we will try with the CMD first just click on command prompt choose your administrator user and enter the password if password is showing wrong choose the US keyboard language here then anyway you can see here the password it, what you have been typing here click on continue and now once you type here the password the first command is sfc space forward slash scan now and this command will basically repair the windows corruption if any files are missing from your windows and somehow it got corrupted os files so this command will repair those files you have to wait here until it's go to 100% now this command is completed successfully next command you need to type here is chkdsk space forward slash f space forward slash r now you need to choose your drive letter basically window is installed in c drive and then c colon and press the enter key and once you press enter key you should see this kind of windows it will repair any bad sectors on your windows and also the corruption if you want to make sure where the window is installed you can press C then colon DIR DIR and you should able to see windows user program files and that I don't have in this D DIR and you can see here users so my window is installed in D drive so I can hit the command here like this chk let's let me exit out from here once chkdsk space slash f space slash r space drive letter d colon in my case you need to press c colon or your windows 90% the window is installed in C drive so this is a bit longer process you have to wait here it will go to five stages and let's see if it able to fix the issue or not so time frame ETA is showing up here you can see you have to wait here So now this has been completed and once it is completed you need to look for bad sector here zero bad sector means there is no issue if you have found any bad sector on your hard drive you might have to replace the hard drive or you have to reinstall the fresh window so I don't have in mind so let me click on 
exit continue with windows 10 now same window is loading so my issue has been fixed now you can see if your issue is still not resolved guys again go to recovery option by pressing and holding the shift key if you are able to see this screen otherwise forcefully shut down your system two to three time now release the shift key click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and we have couple of more options from here click on system restore and this option will restore your system to the working state so this is very powerful also to fix these kind of errors choose again your administrator username then click on continue and if you see this kind of red errors that means the system restore point is not created on your windows like mine so you have to cancel this process otherwise you can select the latest system restore next next and your system will be restored to working state and your issue will be fixed after that so I need to cancel this troubleshoot advanced options and this time I will go to startup settings and we are going to in a safe mode click on restart now you need to press F4 on or 4 on your keyboard so I have pressed 4 on my keyboard and if you are able to go into the safe mode that means that there is some third party software is conflicting now you can see this kind of windows guys simply open the control panel you can press windows plus R key if the search bar is not working for you and type here control then go to large icons select category then select uninstall programs and uninstall the latest program which is not working and which you have recently installed just click on filter this option and if you have also installed the latest update and that is not working you can also uninstall those as well view uninstall you can see here simply select that option and simply uninstall the latest update from your windows and in my case option is not showing up to uninstall it ok so cancel this now press window plus R again and type here MS config press ok now once you go here go to services hide all microsoft services and you need to disable all microsoft other third party services click on apply click on ok or also go to general and normal choose the normal startup then click on ok and restart your windows normally if the start menu is also not working let me show how to restart your windows press window plus r type cmd type here shut down space forward slash r space forward slash t space and zero press enter now system will be restarted in a normal mode now and see if that is able to fix your issue or not this should fix your issue now if there is no hardware issue on your windows otherwise you can go to the 
last option that is reset your PC from advanced recovery options again access the advanced recovery options guys click on troubleshoot click on reset this PC and you can keep your files all the your personal data will be saved and if you choose remove everything all the data including the software will be wiped out so I suggest you to choose this keep my files so if you have data on your computer personal data you can choose the keep files and app keep personal files otherwise if there is no important data on your computer you can go ahead with reset everything remove everything now choose the cloud download this will take around 4 GB of your data but all the new windows file including drivers will be installed so I suggest you to choose this option if you don't have data then go with local reinstall okay so this will take more time guys you have to again confirm the reset and thereafter your PC will be restored to the default setting so after applying these methods guys I'm pretty sure your issue will be resolved if your issue is still not resolved that could be lead to the hardware issue not the software issue so I hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix tech